Hello everybody, welcome to Joy's Daughter of God. My name is Amy and today it is April 20th, 2023 and today's daily scripture reading is found in Matthew chapter 7 verses 21 through 23 and Luke chapter 13 verses 22 through 27. So Matthew chapter 7 starting at verse 21 and Jesus is telling us, Not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name? And then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. And now Luke chapter 13, starting at verse 22, and the word says, and he went through the cities and villages, teaching and journeying toward Jerusalem. Then one said to him, Lord, are there few who are saved? And he said to them, Strive to enter through the narrow gate, for many, I say to you, will seek to enter and will not be able. When once the master of the house has risen up and shut the door, and you begin to stand outside and knock at the door, saying, Lord, Lord, open for us. And he will answer and say to you, I do not know you, where you are from. Then you will begin to say, We ate and drank in your presence, and you taught in our streets. But he will tell you, but I'm sorry, but he will say, I tell you, I do not know you, where you are from. Depart from me, all you workers of iniquity. And that puts me in the mind just what we have read yesterday in Matthew 25, dealing with the parable of the wise and the foolish virgins and the foolish virgins um put and while they went to buy the bridegroom came and those who were ready went in with him to the wedding and the door was shut afterward the other virgins came also saying lord lord open to us but he answered and said assuredly i say to you i do not know you. Wow. So I have on the index card, does the Lord Jesus Christ know you? Are you doing the will of the Father? I mean, I hope none of us hear that depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I do not know you. Or depart from me, I don't know you. I hope we all hear, well done, my good and faithful servant. You may enter in. All right, so now uh, let's do Colossians chapter 3, starting at verse 12, and we will be going down to verse 17. Therefore, as the elect of God, holy and beloved, put on tender mercies, kindness, humility, meekness, long-suffering, bearing with one another, and forgiving one another, if anyone has a complaint against another, even as Christ forgave you, so you also must do. But above all these things, put on love, which is the bond of perfection. And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to which also you were called in one body. And be thankful. Let the word of Christ dwell in you richly in all wisdom, teaching and admonishing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing with grace in your hearts to the Lord. And whatever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the Lord Jesus, giving thanks to God the Father through him. Amen. Well, I hope you all have a wonderful and blessed morning, noon, or night. Whenever you come across this video, God bless each and every one of you all, and I will be back tomorrow, Lord willing. Bye.